Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I want to spotlight today uh, thermal expansions uh, materials. We're going to cover the pulverizer and the powered furnace. So the idea is that uh, you know, you, you've had your furnace, you're ready to do an upgrade, you're playing either like uh, Feed the Beast uh, with uh, Industrial Craft or maybe the Feed the Beast uh, Magical World, which is the one I'm, I'm currently playing and have been playing and enjoying. So uh, the thing is, uh, with Magical World, for example, you don't have Industrial Craft, or maybe you've done it so many times, you really want to look for a different alternative. So you want to upgrade, okay? You want to do something with your ores other than this. Uh, what we're going to do is instead of a macerator, we're using uh, Thermal Expansion's Pulverizer, which uh, works very similar. Uh, a couple different changes to it, which I, I really kind of like. Uh, I'm really enjoying the thermal expansion. Well done. Uh, so here's what we got. Okay, this is a, this is early game setup, right? Uh, a couple levers, you know, just provide our redstone. These are some Sterling engines. Uh, oops, I probably should click it with something other than the wrench. Ah, or pipes. <laughs> Let me move my uh, my thing here. So uh, Sterling engines run on coal. Uh, that's what I'm using. They they don't put out a lot of power, but uh, you know, it's one of your early game things. You just some iron and uh, some cogs and stuff to set that up. That's uh, Again, I'm not going to really show recipes on these things. You can look those up unless there's something that's uh, highly complicated. So with uh, remember, with BuildCraft, our engines, you have to output to a, uh, a wood conductive pipe. That's what the red's for, is the conductive. So you make a wood pipe, put redstone over the top, get the conductive. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> power comes out. Got to go to a wood conductive. Then we're going to uh, a gold conductive. Gold does not lose uh, the power like, uh, say, uh, you know, the cobblestone conductive. I think it's a stone conductive, actually. I'm not sure you can do it out of cobblestone. But, um, and then uh, I don't have any, I'm feeding this by hand. So uh, we have our pulverizer. Uh, you make these separate. Uh, you can uh, stack them like this or however you want. Um, let's take a look at the pulverizer itself. Here's the power. Uh, it does hold a charge on it. Uh, currently, my uh, engines are not running. It's just a little bit of trickle here. Uh, I just, you know, put my stuff right here. You can certainly feed it with a pipe or something of that nature. And then we have our output here. Uh, now, the output, uh, the reason for two slots is it will buffer it a little bit. Uh, and then this is a secondary slot. Some things, if you uh, pulverize, you'll get a secondary item. For example, let's say you were pulverizing cobblestone you'll get sand as the primary output and then uh, you'll sometimes get a little bit of gravel um, now uh, the tabs here on the side uh, this one covers how much power it's using the maximum power uh, that it can uh, take and then uh, the more power the quicker it goes and then how much energy is currently stored you can configure the redstone whether it needs redstone signal or not uh, and then also, here's the, the best part, it's the configuration. This is the pulverizer here, right here in the middle. Uh, these are the different sides of it. And you can change uh, to wherever you want it to output. It's not just the, uh, the pulverizer, it's all the thermal expansions on it. So this is, of course, the top of the machine, bottom of the machine, left, right. This is the back of the machine. So like I said, I, I've been feeding by hand, but let's say I wanted to feed a pipe into the, uh, the left-hand side. I can just click this. It just cycles through. I'm gonna, blue is the input. So, you know, here we go. We got the blue coming in uh, on the left-hand side, and you'll notice it even changes there. Uh, so we know uh, that, we, uh, that we've done it correctly. Uh, if we, oh, here, you know, let's change uh, like another color. There's yellow. Uh, again, this would be the secondary output. So you could output to two sides. Uh, or again, in this case, I'll just turn it off. So the way I have this is uh, main output goes out the top, uh, secondary goes off there to the right, against the chest, uh, and nothing on the other sides. And then from the pulverizer, it goes straight into my furnace, or powered furnace in this case. So you'll notice again, uh, blue is the input, comes up through the bottom, remember, top, bottom, left, right, this is the back. <clears throat> so I've got this on blue for this particular configuration, and I just have it going straight through the output on the top, uh, again, here's the output, power storage, you'll notice I got 74 there, just minimal coming into it. 
And uh, and so I threw my chest on the top because again, uh, that's. Here, I'll take this down for you here so you can see the top. See, there's the uh, the orange as we talked about the orange output. So I just uh, plop a chest right up there to catch it. And uh, let me turn these on just so you can kind of see the energy building up and whatnot. We'll take a look here. Well, there's our power. See the power in the in the blue. We come over here, put my mouse over the power. You can see it building up a little bit. Same thing here with the powered furnace. Okay. Uh, let me chuck uh, some gold ore in here. Now I've spawned this stuff in just so you can see it, obviously. I'll wait for one cycle. Now when you put it in, it does go ahead and take the piece while it's processing. So you'll notice it doesn't stop when I pull it out and then uh, chucks it on out. You won't see it because it's stacked. It's just going to go automatically up into here for the dust and then those go automatically into my chest now if you want to use pipes you do not need a redstone engine to pipe it across uh, you can uh, it will automatically push out on its own with the uh, the piping um, and again you can stack them however you want uh, I do the uh, you know the bottom to the top but uh, again with the uh, the configuration you can input output uh, wherever you'd like except for the front face don't forget you can put power into the front if you're really going for a complex uh, setup and uh, there we go that's how you're gonna get your ore uh, right out of the gate that's a great way to go let's take a look at the, uh, the recipes here real quick I'm not gonna cover on too much how to make it I just want to cover the fact of the uh, oh, I've overshot them uh, just the uh, the supplies form. Oh, you know what? I thought I did over uh, overshoot, but I didn't. So with the uh, the powered furnace, uh, you know we gotta come up with some bricks. So you gotta go get some clay, some redstone, uh, copper. Nothing special there. Um, gold. Uh, you gotta have a piece for that, and you're gonna need a piece for that right there as well. Everything else is pretty humdrum. Same thing with the pulverizer. You know the piston. Again, one piece of gold there, one piece of gold there, uh, and you're going to be good to go. And then uh, the sterlings uh, is, uh, again, nothing uh, major there. So, like I said, you can start off with, uh, you don't have to use gold right out of the gate, but I, I'd recommend it. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to have a couple pieces of gold here and here, so you may as well you know, work up a couple for the piping just to save the uh, energy. Uh, you can throw on other engines, obviously, like uh, peat powered or whatever, uh, whatever you got going from the start. But the, that's the first thing you're probably gonna do to get your uh, get your ores going, um, and then you can kind of upgrade and go from there. All right, everybody, that's uh, the quick highlight of your first step. Uh, don't forget to take a look at the uh, the video of getting your power going for the first time, whether it be through forestry. Uh, or if we stick with thermal and uh, we go with like maybe the uh, magma crucible and stuff, but that's going to uh, involve a trip to the nether to make those. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Like or subscribe if you like what you see here, and we'll see you for the, uh, the next one. Thanks. Bye.